Good afternoon, fabulous scientist Miss Jade here. I am back at school. It is a sunny, cloudy afternoon. Rain is on its way. I am back after a week away from the previous storm. Our garden looks pretty different today. One of the main differences in our winter garden, you might notice by looking around, a lot of our garden beds have fava beans that are now pretty tall. They're a few feet tall now, and they sure do look gorgeous. So scientists, you might have your fava beans still at home growing in your yard from our investigation. Um, and maybe you'd like to grow that plant even longer to complete its life cycle, and you'd like to get beans, that's excellent. But if you don't want to have beans, and instead you rather have the nitrogen in your soil down below to help other plants and to build really rich, good soil, I'm gonna show you today then how you're going to cut back your fava beans to keep the nutrients in the soil. Okay, friends? So you'll see that some of the beans here have a special plant part that we did not see when they were growing in our houses. Does anybody see a different structure, different part? Ah, maybe you notice we have some fava bean flowers. Gorgeous. So that means, friends, once you see those flowers, it is time to chop the stem of your fava bean plant, okay? But only if you want the nutrients in the soil, you will chop them, okay? So, oh, I have one right here that's oh, spreading onto the ground. The stem is leaning. Maybe I'll show you with that one as the example. So this one has the flowers. That means it's the perfect time to cut it. That's because the nitrogen is actually in those nodules, those little white packets of vitamins that I showed you a couple weeks back. So you're gonna go to the base of your fava bean where the stem touches the soil, right there. Now I want to leave the roots in the ground so the, the nitrogen will stay in the soil but I'm gonna get rid of this stem part. So I'm going to take some hand printers being very careful where scissors work too. And I'm gonna just cut right there where the stem meets the soil. Now, you'll see friends, I have this whole plant part. I have the stem all the way up with those leaves and those flowers, okay? And then I also have you can see where the stem was cut. Can you see it? Let's see, right. I feel like I'm in a fava forest. Right here, okay? And now those roots are gonna go deep into the soil and make more nitrogen, okay? Now I can do the same with other ones nearby, okay? So again, going where the stem meets the soil. Oh, not cutting my irrigation, my little tube that delivers water. And I'm gonna cut just boink, straight across and then the stem part and the whole top of the plant comes out, okay? Now scientists, you might be thinking, okay, Miss Jade, so the nitrogen stays in the soil. What do I do with the top parts of my plants? There are a couple things that you could do. You could compost the top parts of your fava beans if you'd like. I recommend cutting your fava bean the stem in small pieces so it'll decompose faster and then you can put these small pieces in a worm bin or a compost pile as your nitrogen um, component. You could also scientists eat these fava bean leaves. They are totally edible. Um, you're not going to get beans remember because you stopped the process, the growth here, okay, in these ones that you cut. Um, you can eat the leaves. Um, I can put them in little salads. Um, there is a pretty rare sickness that you, some people get called favism, which is you're allergic 
to um, eating the fava beans. So um, you might want to try a little nibble with your parents around just to double, make, make sure that you're all safe. And then if you enjoy them, you can keep eating them if you feel good. Um, but for the most part, it's a very common plant to eat, especially around like the Mediterranean in Europe um, and the continent of Europe. Um, so friends, that's what you're gonna do if you would like to cut down your um, the top parts of your fava bean plants to keep the nitrogen in the soil, okay? Now, I'm going to not cut all of the plants. I'm gonna leave some in the school garden because I want um, also some beans for us to eat. So these flowers, if I leave this plant here, leave this one to grow and don't cut it, it's gonna turn the flowers once they get pollinated, so they get visit visited by a pollinator, um, they're gonna turn into beans, okay? So we're gonna leave some to turn to beans to eat and some we're going to cut back to add the nitrogen. Last little tip I'll say friends, is the reason why you want to cut the ones back when you see the flower is because if you let them continue to grow and become beans then friends all that delicious nitrogen will go into the bean okay which is fine it just means that there's not going to be very much nitrogen in the roots anymore okay all right scientists oh right next to me i also have a big forage plant growing it's doing really well I hope you have a beautiful week. If you have any questions about cutting your favas back, let me know. Otherwise, I'm meeting with upper grades this week. Stay dry and see you soon, scientists.